Hey guys, it's Matt Haycox here. Now, for those of you that don't know me, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm an investor, and I'm a businessman. But why I'm not is an explorer, an adventurer, and certainly not a mountain climber. But that is what we're here to talk about today, my latest challenge, trying to climb Mount Kilimanjaro. Now, Mount Kilimanjaro is the highest mountain in Africa. It's the highest freestanding peak in the world. And on a complete whim, I decided to climb it on two months notice with almost no training and certainly no experience in this kind of thing. But I'm always up for a challenge. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, I have a bit of a habit of getting naked in all kinds of probably very inappropriate situations. So I combine all my favorite things to do a short notice challenge, climbing Mount Kilimanjaro to get to 6,000 meters, almost 6,000 meters at the top and get naked. Am I gonna be able to do it? That's what we're gonna find out here. So please watch my video, I hope you enjoy it and let's find out if I get all the way to the top. I found out he was doing it a couple of weeks ago when he asked me to do it with him. You sure you don't want to come? It's not too late for me to book you a ticket. Um, sure. <laughs> I haven't done any training for it. Neither have I. <laughs> He's done a bit of training, but only a couple of weeks ago. He climbed the three peaks, but only did two of them. Because he... Cut. <laughs> 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 Oh, there's the hell. <laughs> Killy's off. I think um, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to seeing what it's going to be like to have a week or two with not much phone, with not much hustle and bustle and activity around. And I think uh, I think I'll start to enjoy it more. Will you miss me? Of course, I miss you, Beans. I always miss you, even when I go away for a day. But I'll certainly miss you stuck at the mountain. Do you need to do the front bits? Oh. <laughs> I think the thing he'll find hardest is the altitude sickness. <laughs> um, wouldn't you just stop? Um, you could die from altitude sickness. Don't you go down if you hurt yourself? If you don't know, just quick enough, you might be dead. <laughs> Did I tell you, Matt? No, go on. So when I was Googling yesterday on the train about what animals will see, the top like search result came up, how many dead bodies are there on Kilimanjaro? <laughs> <laughs> and how many were there? It said like 10 people die every year. But from altitude sickness? Altitude sickness, falling, rock fall. Not from twisted ankles? Hopefully not from twisted ankles. <laughs> well yeah, that's kind of scary. Who do you think will struggle the most, Matt? Who do I think will struggle the most? Mm -hmm. Mate. <laughs> Listen, if JP can't motivate as well, that's what I'm saying. JP will get us through. Right? Mm -hmm. You're in my bubble. You're in my bubble. That's all right. Hello. 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 Hey, nice to see you. Nice to see you. We're doing it. We're going to Kilimanjaro. <laughs> thermals and then one pair of leggings so four bottoms and then three tops because i'm asking that for the last day yeah the last day we're gonna probably wearing a little bit similar like we're going to the moon okay my name is musa hussein kiju and uh, i'm working as a guide on the mountain kilimanjaro it's been more than 15 years now how many pairs of these do I need? Like this kind of trousers? I can have two for walking, just for walking. Two, okay. Two. That's four. Four. So. You have four. That's, that's completely fine. Okay. Uh, sunscreen. Instinct repellent. We do a quick check for the equipment so we know what you have, what you didn't have. Because most of the people, they might say, where I came in from, I get used to the cold. And then that cold where we're going is different. I brought those for the top of the mountain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> really? Moose, there you go. Yeah. That's, that's for the top of the mountain. All right. And he's going to go like this. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we finishing, we start to go to the Memosho. We'll stop at Boma supermarket. You can buy some snacks. Okay. If so you... Percy Pigs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm already stre yeah, stressing the lack of signal. Well, not the signal, not, not signal that was up on the phone to you now, but yeah, I've, I've, I've got no data uh, and I, I, can't, I can't get my phone to it. I've got no chance to buy a data pack or anything. Do you want to get going? Do you I'm looking forward to get going so I can get back and get on the fucking data pack? <laughs> Oh, we have the 46 grand. This feels like I'm at a casino. Oh, that's a fancy bag, I like that. There you go, buddy. Cheers, mate. I'm ready, oh, I'm feeling. Ooh, I don't wow. know. I'm still, I'm still just worrying about data too bad. I'm worrying about data. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've been in Kilimanjaro, yes. It's very nice, it's very good exercise. Mm. Uh, just, just here, on the mine. Take it easy, drink water, and listen to the guide. Pole pole. Yes. We're all conquering our fears here. And Matt's fear isn't actually of Kilimanjaro. It's of not being able to be on the bloody phone. So we're all conquering our own fears. And yeah, Matt's, uh, he doesn't have a choice really. So he's at the threshold now. Let's do this. <laughs> I mean, when you drive around Tanzania, it's like nothing you could imagine to experience this just wildly different economic, geographic, temperature. I mean, every possible word you want to throw at it, it is just chalk and cheese. You know, everywhere you look, there's people walking down the streets, uh, carrying things on the head. I mean, I saw a guy today on a motorbike, literally driving a motorbike with trees across the back of him like that. And that's how they transport. That's, that's their income, that's their way of life. It's just, I've never seen anything like this in the flesh before. Welcome to Africa! Fucking winding me up! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yes! First year death experience. <laughs> it wasn't the altitude sickness that took us. It was the, it was the cement lorry. <laughs> how you feeling, Gaz? Um, I feel good, excited, a bit nervous. What are you nervous about? Um, more just the tent situation. I think I'll be fine walking, but like just going back to my tent if it's wet or rainy and it being cold clothes. <laughs> I'm excited. I mean, I just like, I'm impatiently excited. I just want to get to the top now. How about you, Matt? <laughs> He's full of excitement. How is he sleeping through this journey? <laughs> oi, 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 oi. So this is where it begins. There was a lot of excitement from everybody getting ready this morning. I think what's been really interesting for me has been, obviously we're really excited to be here uh, and be doing this kind of trip of, a, trip of a lifetime and this incredible experience, but almost as excited, if not more excited than us, uh, are the porters and the Sherpas and, uh, and the guides and everybody who's involved in this process of bringing us up here. And that is a lot of people. I mean, we've, we're a group of five of us doing this, five or six of us, uh, and there's 30 people people bringing us up the mountain, 30 people give or take, which is incredible. But these people, this is a whole job, the whole life. Um, and they haven't worked since March because of Corona. So the, you know, the, the genuine excitement, and we were kind of told this before that, oh, they're going to be excited. But I think it's been incredible to see how actually genuine that is. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for taking us up the mountain. We are very, very grateful. This will be our first time. So hopefully it can be special for all of us. Looking at your smiles, I know you guys have a lot of good energy to give. So I, I want for all of us to have an amazing time. And, uh, maybe some of you will have to carry this guy up towards the top. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> can I serve you as well? Uh, if anyone can find 4G and a data pack, <laughs> I'll be yours for life. <laughs> so this is Jafar, he's our camp manager. So what he say, he say, thank you very much for you guys to come. Because for you guys just to be in here, you've already helped a lot right now, so far, according to their family, because of this job they're going to do. So, he wants you guys to be the ambassador when you go back home, tell the other people that they, there's no corona here where we are, so it's free, they can come. No masks. Jumbo! <laughs> 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 Wakani, 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 wakani
kuchwa pasi ni manjaro akuna matata pole pole akuna matata watuta kwenda akuna matata wageni ni wazuri akuna matata jambo jambo oh jambo bwana habari gani nzuri sana wageni wageni Oh, she comes serving energy. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a big walk. It's just mad how slow we walk, isn't it? Holy poly. What do you say? Holy poly. What's that? Slowly. Slowly. Oh, right. That's what they say. That's what they keep telling you now. Oh, really? Because you want to just conserve energy. And we walk this speed? Yes. The whole, what, the whole way? Yeah. I'm, I'm, just, glad I'm, not. I'm just thinking about getting back for data. <laughs> <laughs> Three, four, seven, five. And it becomes an issue at what? 4,200? 46. 4, 6. 4, 6, 4, okay. 5. I thought it was going to be so much faster than it actually is. You actually have to make an effort to walk this slow. And I can already see Matt just wanting to go because you have to walk really slowly. And Matt's like just wants to get to the base camp. Uh, I actually got um, I actually got pulled back today because I was like impatiently, impatiently walking onto the front. I was actually genuinely imagining that um, we'd all pull it probably at different paces because you'd be off at the fucking front and I'd be having a Maya card at the I'll back. I'll be honest, somewhere. I thought that as well. They said that's what you do when you come down. Some people, when you come down from the summit, some people get down to the camp in two hours, some people take four. I look off the map. I look off the map. I'm fucking you just going tell, for you tell two hours, the is, you And I'll be like the fucking roadrunner. If I make it to the top. Are you going to go away? You're going to go away? Just, 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 oh. just, just, oh. just, 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 quite funny if you could hear us all we're all going oh god there's the camp there's the camp you know you'd think we've been walking for like fucking three days and we've just seen seen the first spot of water and then how we're going to be after four days base camp end of day one these guys have been uh, running backwards and forwards with the supplies it's unbelievable i mean literally in the time it's taken us to walk here really slowly these guys have been back and forth like two times, I think, two times. Um, I mean, what's been really, really good? I mean, how slow we've been. Yeah, my coffee. I miss the honey. I miss the shower. I miss the beer. Big yeah, my coffee. What do you need to do? One bit to bow up. You see the one. One bit to go down. Give me one job. Kilimanjaro, 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 Mimambe Kusana. Kilimanjaro, 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 Mimambe. So, so I have a serious question. Okay. <laughs> it's my intention to be naked on the summit, right? You can be naked, but. but ha, ha, I mean, it sounds like it's going to be very fucking cold. <laughs> I, I just, I just want to, I, I just want to take one naked picture. But, but is, it, is it going to be dangerous, or do you think I'll be able to do it? You'll be able to do it. Okay. I went to the bed last night. Super stoked. I thought yesterday was a nice, easy stroll. Quite warm. Nice dinner. Now I'm thinking, fucking hell, this is going to be the toughest five days of my life. I think in the last ten hours. If I've slept more than two hours combined, I'd be fucking amazed. I'm freezing. I'm fucking absolutely horrendous, I feel. Jesus. I'm going to be so tired to walk today. <laughs> Somebody sexy, tell them hey. <laughs> I'm bathing next to Kilimanjaro, or on Kilimanjaro. Oh, cheers, pal. Oh, God. What do I do is put my hands in it. Oh, oh shit, it is fucking, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking boiling. 
<laughs> the one exchange to the other. Yeah. Been brought to the yeah. fucking wilderness to be tortured. But I've got two sachets for okay. altitude sickness. See, a lot of people take it when they think they need it, and they generally don't. Yeah. Yeah, but you obviously do. <laughs> also, couldn't eat your dinner, headache, shivering, puking, diarrhea. I mean, how many other symptoms do you need, dude? <laughs> I don't know. What else is there? I don't know. What else? Is what else? Yeah. Let's see if we can get it. <laughs> We're about to be on the move. I'm very tired, but I feel like I've got a new lease of life after no fucking sleep last night. I think it's a porridge. Let's do it. How long do we walk for today? Are you today we walk for four hours? <laughs> One hour in. So we're about an hour in this morning. It's gone quite quite easy to be fair, you know, we're just chatting and chilling, listening to podcasts and hanging out. And we've just seen directions the next place we're going to. Nine fucking kilometers, are you kidding me? Unbelievable, <laughs> unbelievable. I've, really, I've taken off two layers already. I've got very hot, sweaty, poo-stained pants on. It's gonna be a long journey. <laughs> oh. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh shit. Oh. Like, I start pulling my trousers down. I mean, when you do it, do you take your trousers off or just pull them down? <laughs> Because I'm thinking, if I kept my trousers on, I'd have been catch, no, no, catching no. the fucking poo in the crotch. No, pull them down <laughs> and then lean against the thing at the back. Oh, oh what? You actually, you actually do like a no, back no, squat? No, no, no. Just, like... just put your hand on the back. Yeah, then... but like, so, but, so but like unless this. it's like a perfect poo oh, direction. Like you oh take God. your trousers up to here. Yeah. I'd have definitely caught. I mean, I tell you, because because I'm sat in there doing it. There you go. And, and as I'm as I'm pooing, well, as it's about to come out, I'm thinking, please go through the hole, because oh, I didn't yeah. want to be disrespectful to you guys and leave it on the floor. Yeah, but then I thought, if it's on the floor, I don't want to have to in. kick it in with these nice behind. clean trainers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this conversation. I'm so glad I got to listen to that. Change the experience. No, it's not. It's just going to change the experience. Not yet, man. I can't wait to get phone reception. Just to send her a picture and just say, that I'm having an amazing time. She will be oh. coming now. I'm going to go to I'm going to go one team. One, one dream. dream. One dream. Yeah. One team. More water. More fire. More fire. More water. More the pole. I think I need money. Lovely. Lovely. So we've just uh, we've just been having a little snack break. And uh, one of the things that they told us to bring when we came here was loads and loads of our, our snacks from home. And uh, stupidly, I only brought a, a packet of Percy pigs. I've had to buy a few bits of things locally, but um, we've just been quite, we've just had to stop, you know, it's been quite a tough morning and um, I've just tasted a couple of Percy pigs and I can't tell you how much that kind of, that creature comfort of home, that, that familiar taste, you know, that, I guess, that something, something that makes me taste England and, uh, and comfort and happiness has just uh, given me a bit of energy. So happy to see him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow! I'm not showing those. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure some local nuts or whatever would have filled a hole in my hunger. But uh, tasting a Percy has given me a whole new lease of life again. No, I don't think Matt would fail at this at all. I think, although he'll whinge about his feet hurting or his cold or his lack of sleep, I think that. Ultimately, he will just get his head down and just do it. I think he's quite strong like that. He, you will literally never find anyone like him. I think, honestly, I, I, thinking about it, he's probably one of the best people to do something like this with because he's just so funny and so light-hearted and just takes the mickey out of everything and just lifts everyone's spirits. So I couldn't really think of maybe a better like person to have in your team than Matt. 
don't tell myself that. <laughs> okay. And how far? How, how many hours? I think it's. Uh, yeah, buddy. Minutes. Forty-five, 45 oh, minutes to an hour. They're the words you want to hear. Oh, can't wait till I die. Tired. I ain't gonna lie. Oh my god. What? Can you see the camp and where I've come from? No. There's our man Mitch. You've got this. You've got to Mitch. give him props for fighting on. Thank you. What you tired? Are you tired? hurting or what? Everything. <laughs> been going for exactly four hours. 35 to 40 minutes left. You can do four hours, you can yeah. do 35 to 40 for sure. minutes. Oh, that's not how you want to describe it. That's how you look for the challenge. Yeah. I'm getting a headache now. Not too bad, but... First one I've really had since I've been here. So I've done all my water in. <sighs> Gonna fall! <laughs> I think getting to the top with Matt is gonna be hilarious. Because he does it very playfully, but he's gonna bitch and moan. <laughs> and he does it, I think, just you know, just because it makes people laugh, but I think there's gonna be a lot of that at the top. If there isn't, I'll be very I'll be very surprised pleasantly surprised but uh, yeah I'm expecting some huffing and puffing and um, you know swear words which is part part of Matt's brand oh, I'm fucking exhausted every time I ask how far they say 45 minutes so I don't want to ask anyone again in case I get violent <sighs> oh fuck my head Literally the longest climb of my life. Yeah. So Even endurance cycling, never climbed. Six hours. Yeah. Oh, such a fucking headache. You oh, I don't have any water left. Someone got water for Matt. Very yeah. important. Drink it. One tea. One tea. One tea. One tea. Oh, if your life depended on getting the answer right. How many minutes do we have left to count? Oh. Right now I'll say less than 20. Check your watch. It's just there. You see that uh, rocks over there? Not the big one. No, just to the middle. This <laughs> <laughs> guy completely worked. It's not that stupid. She's got a lot. It's like when your missus asks you what time you're going to be home from the pub. <laughs> Let's just go and just, just get, get out of here. Yeah, let's go. Come on, Mitch. Right. Like, if I, if I genuinely knew like it was going to be two and a half hours, I'd say, you know what? Fuck, I, I, I actually want a 20 minute break and then I'll fucking motor on for two and a half hours. Yeah. When you get told it's like 15 fucking minutes, you think, right, I'll fight through. It just gets demotivating. How far? Yeah. How far to camp? It's not far. Yeah. Oh, it's 15 minutes, guys. I can see it. sleep at nine I woke up at ten and then I remember looking at my clock again at like 11 30 1 30 
about 4 35 30. I was I'd, I'd fall asleep quite well again between those times but I was I was waking up and I was kind of cold from here upwards mm -hmm. Matthew good morning good morning how are you are you good <laughs> how do you feel Pardon? Out of breath. Out of breath. Mm. You get some problem in your chest? Uh, I couldn't I couldn't breathe at night. You couldn't breathe in at night? Properly, yeah. I couldn't sleep. That's why I couldn't sleep. I slept from uh, 2.40 to 3.30. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Are you feeling a bit jake? Oh, not good, not good or quite good. Have you got some Lucas Aid vitamin C tablets? Something like that. Might be a good idea. Well, he needs to go back to bed or something for a bit, Mitch. I mean, you can't start walking like this, mate. Yeah. Gotta be honest, you're really bringing us down. <laughs> <laughs> He knows I'm joking. He knows I love him. <laughs> what can you do when your mate's sitting there just fucking hanging his head? Was I the slowest yesterday in all the tricks no, you've done? No, no, no. Sure? It's completely normal. Okay. Yeah, this was, it was a good piece. Okay. No problem with that. The fucking, the first few steps of walking are going to be hard. <laughs> morning, as soon as we all start climbing the wall. He's Mitch, is, like, Mitch is set off. He is a trooper. Yeah. We're about to climb up that wall and the plan is an hour and a half and it's zigzagging across and I can actually see from a distance people, they look like ants, obviously the whole point of this is to get to Big Mama up there but well now it's starting to sink in what we have to do. I, I'm actually not that afraid of the cold. I actually don't mind the cold, but something's hit me really hard, and um, I had the shivers like you wouldn't believe. I literally couldn't stop. Well, from what everyone said as well, I couldn't stop shaking. But it seemed like it stemmed from my back, and I had no control over it. But I also lost. I don't remember everything. That's the thing, and um, that's concerned me. The fact that I've had memory loss. I haven't been diagnosed by someone fully, I'm going to say, I'm going to hope it's shock to the system and not altitude, because that's something that I'm really crapping about, really, really crapping um, from what they've expressed over the last few days. I don't want to, if I'm struggling now, I don't want to get a full blown altitude sickness because there's nothing I can do then. And so. Mitch. Yeah. Love you, man. I respect you for okay. being here. Really, really do. I think you're for me. I mean, I've, I have to dig deep sometimes on these bits because it's so easy to, it's so easy to want to turn home and just call it a day. Um, and I think we, I guess we all have had different things that keep us fighting on. I think for me, it's a combination of one thing that's always very important to me is I hate letting people down. Um, I maybe I probably don't make as many commitments as people would like me to because I think if I do say I'm going to do something, I really like to try and see it through. Oh my god. That's awful. Oh my god. But look, I mean, this is a fucking vertical. I'm shitting my pants. Nah, so, this is no joke. Put your pants away. Yeah. Yeah. Take a video where we pass it. No, yeah. no, no. You're kidding. You're going to hold my hand. Okay, so this is no joke. Matt's about to cross Kiss Rock. Oh. I think it's called that. Yeah. For two reasons. One, you're going to kiss the rock. Two, you're going to kiss your life goodbye. I'm going to go this way, mate. Let you hug it. Let you hug it. I'm going to do it. Holy mate, because. I will fall. This is fucking insane. Here it goes. My last kiss will be with a fucking rock. Fuck. Go on, guys. Hey, look, you can see the, you see the mountain people. Look. Oh my gosh. The mountain people. Oh, they're right behind us. Steps away. All right, let's go, guys. This is fun. <laughs> you liking it, yes? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Are you? Yeah. 
I mean, it's scary, but it's fun. Tiring. That's as high, that mountain is as high as we were for lunch yesterday. Oh really? How crazy that we're that high. Mad. It's almost as mad as how much fucking energy you've got each day. Me? Honestly. You know, the Duracell bunny of Kilimanjaro. <laughs> it's depressing how tired I am next to you. <laughs> if someone asked me, can you describe Matt Haycox? in one word it's definitely Gamble. uncensored in every way <laughs> I, oh, oh. Oh, I fucking missed it missed what? Are you naked? there will be another time <laughs> don't worry there's lots to come fuck oh it's tough you've got to give Mitch major major props Money. I mean well, we, you know we look at him at breakfast every morning or at dinner when he goes to bed and uh, we just think <laughs> we, we just laugh at him because like the guy can't even eat his toast in the morning uh, but somehow he seems to find the energy to um, to actually get up here uh, and get past every day and I guess you know Mitch, uh, Mitch has got his why his uh, you know his reason for being here actually a bit quite personal for me so it's my wife back home so she's had um, she got diagnosed with cancer last year and all this year she's been going to treatment she just finished her chemo about two weeks ago and she just wanted me to go because she knew I needed it and that's her and every time, every time there's a moment of weakness, I think I guess I, um, <laughs> well done, um, I look at what she's done in here. And I've not had one night sleep here properly and she can't sleep, she can't sleep. She even puts earbuds in and her heart rate, her heartbeat wakes her up. She's in flight or fight mode for the last six or seven months. And I, I still don't get what she's going through but the first night was a taster of her lack of sleep. And all I keep saying to myself after being JP as well, was that, that if she can do that, then every step is for her right now. So that, that's, yeah, that's what I'm gonna wanna <coughs> get it through for, yeah. Honestly, uh, only known, well, five of you for the first time in the last few days. And in fairness, it could have picked a better bunch. Everyone's got a mix of personalities. So, uh, yeah, I'm really grateful to JP, like massively. Not a better person to do it with, to get me up that mountain. And our crew is amazing. Our guides, fucking out of this world. You know, when JP asked me to do this with him five weeks before we came up here, it would have been so easy to make excuses. Um, but for me, it was much more important to be able to say yes and, and be able to live a life experience and have for the rest of my life an amazing experience to tell about this. I think I've been picturing that you guys will get up there half an hour before me. I'll come up crawling after, get a big cheer from you guys, it'll be a Thank great relief. So it's 8 a.m. on Monday for us, day five. Yeah, we've got 24 hours until we should be walking down, hopefully from the summit. We've got a five hour walk ahead of us, and then we're gonna be having some lunch, setting up in camp, and sleeping till about 11 o'clock, midnight tonight. And then that's when the big six or seven hour walk starts. So um, 
everyone's in kind of great spirits, everyone seems in great nick. Even Mitch has had a, a, a new lease of life over the last 24 hours, so I'm feeling confident we're all gonna make it. Um, but you know, undoubtedly the next uh, the next 12 or 15 hours is gonna be the hardest push we've had in the last five days. Morning. Morning. I've got my next, uh, I can't wear the same t-shirt again, honestly. I smell like a fucking, fucking. there's not a word for it. How do you think my pants are? <laughs> I feel terrible. My mouth tastes like a dirty mountain arsehole. <laughs> I've not showered in five days. All of my clothes and belongings just need burning when I get off this mountain. <laughs> you don't get more real than that, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's that? What's that play we like? Uh, I got one of the uh, got one of the Man City players to um, ah. to s s send a message to uh, Arabu to say you know. Are you? Are you? Listen, I'm blaming JP because I said how do you how do you spell his name and he and he like JP wrote it for are me. Are you boo? Yeah. And so, <laughs> so when I sent the message, I said this is the name. I said I don't actually know. <laughs> I said just say it like it's written. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ginger. You know what happened? Personal private Which message to you. you. Not to him, not to him, not to me. To you. It's so cute. I know. Yeah. So hard. <laughs> Why are you going to do a squat run? I'm going to have to. Fuck it up. That is quite possibly the most frightening experience of my life. Jesus Christ. <sighs> he went to go to the toilet and it smelt horrendous and he just threw up. Happy <laughs> Sudan. I thought, please shut the fuck up. <laughs> Just when you wake up, you think, today can't be any worse than yesterday. <laughs> you end up ripping your fingers through toilet paper while shitting behind a rock. Feel for me doing a mountain rock poo, listening to Hakuna Matata. This has been so incredibly challenging. It's very personal to everyone. You know, some of us it's physical, some of us it's altitude sickness, or maybe it's a lack of sleep or the cold or a combination of the four things that I've just mentioned and uh, it's definitely not a walk in the park you know it's definitely a challenge and uh, what's going to be interesting is over the last three or four days you know we've only done a few hundred meters of ascension and today's summit day well we start today we've just started climbing right now and then we summit in about 20 hours from now on, and we're doing like one and a half thousand meters so that hill just didn't stop just kept going I don't, no one knows what's going to happen but it's going to be definitely the toughest of what we've experienced so far so i'm looking forward to it and i'm not looking forward to it and i'm sure i speak for all six of us I'm in a good mood today. Let's do this. One team. <laughs> Fuck. How oh, serious, man? Awesome is this fucking face cam? <sighs> <laughs> Adrian! Yeah! Come on! Adrian! Woo! Oh no, I'm done. I can't get up. Fuck! I fucked myself properly then. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Everyone who gave up here. My English is too bad, man. <laughs> For camera now. I think we eat the people who give up from this point on. So clear. 
Stretched with hypothermia before. <laughs> Fucking hell. Fuck <laughs> oh, me. Oh, oh. <coughs> Tap out. Fuck. <laughs> oh. When everybody gets to the top, you can't even explain. Everybody is totally like a dream when you get to the top. If you don't get to the top, for me, what I'm saying, it's becoming a disease but I kind of take the attitude that I'm not there to not do it, I've gone there to do it. Uh, and barring any genuine you know, medical issues, there won't be anything that stops me getting to the top of the mountain. I'm genuinely nervous. I'm always excited to go naked, but this is... <laughs> this could be the one, the one time that takes my life. You know, like the, the one stunt that's too many for evil can evil, and he ends up, uh, he, he ends up out of action or dead. This, this could be it for me. It's 10 minutes to midnight which means it's 10 minutes okay. to head you, to the summit. Yeah. Everyone ready? No. Yeah. Okay, let's, try, <laughs> let's try that again. Is everyone ready? Yeah. One team. One, one team. team. One dream. One team. More water. More fire. More fire. More water. We no chanting for me at this time of night. All on my card now. Did you enjoy Pete? Just Tell you what, what a gift to be sat back in Ibiza right now discussing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you feel it? Yeah. Short breath. And then yeah, we sat off, and I think from literally like the first steps, the gradient was pretty much like that. Like it was so steep. Um, and then obviously because you're getting higher and higher and higher, there's less oxygen. So everyone was just panting and like gasping for breath. Like you take two steps and have to stop for a minute to catch your breath. And it was, it was really intense. I've never, never felt anything like that before. And um, there was one point where I was like, oh my gosh, like I actually don't think I'll be able to do this because I physically like could not lift my legs up. It was such a bizarre feeling. I never want to experience it again. But... Hello. Oh, fuck, <laughs> <laughs> So warm. You should take a layer off. How are you doing, Mitch? One layer off and put it in my backpack. How are you doing? Okay. Crazy breath. Deep water. Hot. My head. Whoa. Oxygen is getting less. <laughs> I mean, I have to say, it's a good job we couldn't see where we were going because I just said, fuck that. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Yes. I miss you, Daddy. I miss you, woman. I miss you, woman. <laughs> I miss you, Daddy. Uh, well, <laughs> tell you what, the last thing you'd be thinking daddy. about up here is your fucking wife, wouldn't it? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh boy. So, guys, push it up. Yep. We are so close to finishing to the talk. <laughs> We're nowhere near. <laughs> nowhere near you, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I feel like we're in a fucking concentration camp being walked off to fucking slaughter. <laughs> we're singing some chant like this is our last walk. We're gonna eat the fucking butt cheeks for lunch. Hashtag my inspiration. <laughs> oh, I've got no energy for banter today. They didn't tell us what we were doing today and I guess I kind of know why because if we knew and if we could see because I mean we've got these lamps on we can see one or two steps ahead of us but honestly if I knew where I had to go I don't think I could do it Guys, 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 let's have two minutes, two minutes Is anyone else's water frozen? Like in there from the pan? It was frozen already? Mm -hmm. Wow. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to die. I'm going to put it to Sorry. I can't believe it. You're still checking the signal. Sorry? Oh, I just. What? I just saw you check your seat. No, no. <laughs> I'm desperate to make a call. Necessarily, we will stop. But if it's not, we will keep going on. It's very slowly because if you stop, you get cold. But if you get cold, it's easy to get. I mean, to give up. No, 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 no! Don't no. sleep. Don't sleep. I'm not sleeping. I want to lie down. One minute, mate. One minute. Lying is not a good idea, man. It's not a good idea. Listen, honestly, I know myself. Just give me one minute, seriously. I thought it's a bit more fun. A little bit. It's not fun at all. I think Matt came here being non-negotiable about summiting and the only way he will not summit is if he knows 100% and feels that he physically and mentally cannot go on because you know, if he's going to say something he's going to do it. A sunrise started creeping in just before that I saw JP and me and him gave him a little hug and only now I realised him before he was in tears and I don't know why he was in tears for seeing me but after obviously I hear now that he had, he had mountain sickness he's probably just emotional all over the place. We were coming up this really really steep bit and I knew it was the last bit and I saw JP behind me who was in quite a bad way um, but I knew how close we were so I just took every ounce of energy that I had left in myself just to get myself up that last little incline and then when you reach the top I think because it was six o'clock as well because the sun was just rising it was just you just turned around and it was absolutely gorgeous and I was exhausted and overjoyed that I'd made it to the top and it all kind of merged together and I just started crying. <laughs> oh. I've been dying for six hours Oh, yeah. Six hours, We've still got like 30 minutes to go. Moose has been dragging me up. Oh, oh fuck, I don't see that. <laughs> nice. How are you doing, pal? How are you doing, JP? Yeah, better, thanks. Good. <coughs> my hands are so numb, I can't operate a camera. Oh. Oh. I mean. There's just no words to describe no, for the last six hours. No, there's not. That is. Thank you so much. 
I'm not a bit I've nearly crazy. cried about five times. <laughs> Could you hold this for me? <laughs> that, that cold? Yeah. How long have you had your fingers off for? I thought Jake was a zombie. I honestly thought they were going to try to turn around. I know. I was scared for him. My nose is turning into icicles. This is just so extreme, it's unbelievable. I genuinely thought we got to the top like 20 minutes ago. But I'd still rather be doing this than trying to sleep in my tent. No way I would have made it up without this guy today. I mean, at, at three, four o'clock in the morning, maybe not even that late, I was literally, I was kind of crying, and uh, I just, I would have, I, I would have done anything to turn around. I got a few thoughts in my head to motor me on, which gave me a bit of a bit of motivation. And basically, this, this fellow has been with me since about 4:30 a.m. today, and he's been right with me up until getting naked at nine o'clock. So I can't say thank you enough. Let's hope he can get me back down as well. Oh well, brother. Cheers, buddy. Cheers.